Welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at XREFs, uh, what they are and how you can use them. An XREF is basically an AutoCAD drawing that is inserted into another AutoCAD drawing. Uh, it is different to inserting a block um, as XREF drawings can be automatically updated uh, when there is a change, unlike blocks. Um, so we'll get straight into it so I can show you how this works. Here I have a roof plan and what I want to do is XREF in a title boundary. So I have the title boundary here. So going back to our roof drawing, um, type XR to open up the XREF properties window. Left click on the little drop down arrow and click attach drawing. Go to your folder where your drawing is. So in this case, we want to insert the site title boundary. Click open. Uh, here's some parameters that you can set. Generally I would say have your scale off. Um, <clears throat> just want it to come in as a normal one to one. Uh, same with insertion point. Just have it so it comes in at zero, zero, zero. And over here we have attachment or overlay. Um, we'll select attachment at the moment. I'll get into the difference between the two uh, a little bit later on. So we'll click OK. And as you can see our site title boundary has come in. So I can select that and you can't edit it. Uh, once it's an XREF, or like from the actual uh, drawing here, if we go back to the original drawing. So, to show you how it works, if I save this, okay, go back to my title boundary. If I now alter this, say we, I don't know, changed our site boundary for some reason. Click save, go back to our roof plan. You'll notice down here on the bottom right, a, uh, a, a balloon's popped up asking us if we want to reload the title site boundary. Uh, we can either click there, yes, and as you can see it's updated. Another way we can reload is back in the window over here, the, um, the XREF properties window. We can click on reload all references or select the file and click reload. Right click and then click reload. Um, so that's basically how that works. Now if I was to create another blank file and turn off grids F7 um, and now inserted using an XREF um, the, the roof plan now let's click OK leave it as attachment zoom extends OK um, you can see now we've got an XREF in here I've, I've, I've just um, attached the, the roof plan drawing but it's also brought in the title site title boundary, as you can see here, uh, because it was an attachment. So basically, any time you attach an XREF to another drawing, if you then reference that other drawing, it'll just keep coming in and on, in and in on on the very next one. Um, to show you how that works. If we go back to our roof plan and select title boundary, and if we scroll down here, we see attachment. If we change it to overlay. Overlay means it only works. It, um, only references in on that drawing and no others. So now we go to our new drawing and it's asking us to reload. So we'll reload. It disappears. Even though that this is now an XREF inside this blank drawing uh, because we've changed the um, back in the roof plan, we've changed the title boundary to overlay now, uh, it won't come through. Um, so we'll do that again. Uh, this time we'll do the opposite. We'll select uh, the title boundary in the roof plan. Change it to attachment, click save, go back to our new drawing, and reload, and it's come back again. So that's quite useful. Um, this method is very useful for many things. Sometimes you might have a few different floors of a building, and you can reference the uh, upper and lower floors and just turn them on and off from the um, properties window. What I like to do as well is use them for um, elevations. So what is Go back to our roof plan. I'm going to change the attachment back to overlay again. Click save. Back to our new drawing. And reload. OK. Now if this was going to be a drawing for elevations. What I could do is I could select um, the roof plan. Copy it along. Rotate it. And one more. 
There are other methods to do this, which I'll go through maybe in another tutorial. So we set the scale, and now we could just draw in the ceiling lines, and then begin to draw in our elevations. Um, you see how this is quite powerful using XREFs? Because if I now make a change to one of these floor plans, um, it'll update in all of them. Uh, so we'll go back to our roof plan. Say we wanted to uh, pull this back a little bit. Maybe pull this down. And perhaps we'll move this up over here. If we now save that, go back to our elevation drawing, the little balloon pops up down the bottom right here, asking if we want to reload. We'll click on that. And as you can see, it's updated all the um, drawings. So it's it's quite useful in that way. Uh, another way people sometimes work is they have, I'll get rid of these, they'll have a floor plan and they'll basically draw the elevations and rotate the screen all the way around. So I might shoot some lines down here. So we'll just draw a basic house. Okay, we've basically got a rough elevation there. Um, perhaps we'll offset that a little bit. So that could be our ceiling line of wall lines. And basically, what people will do is they flip the page around. Um, so to do that, uh, we can say UCS um, Z. If you want to turn the Z axis, type 90, enter, and then type plan, enter, enter. And we've rotated that screen now 90 degrees. Uh, you can do that all the way around, and that allows you to have um, just one floor plan, uh, which can be updated using by XREFs. Uh, you could overlay first floor and second floor and roof all all over the one spot. Uh, that's why also I use the zero zero point so that everything always lines up uh, perfectly. Now uh, that's the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, post it in the comments. Thanks.